people, my name's Tracy, and I started noticing hair loss, I would say like age 45. Um, and also with that, it was probably with also with hormone changes, and I started asking doctors about what I could do for it. So this was my hair before. If you can see, I was losing some hair, mainly in the front of my head. Um, for women, we, I, we tend to bald in a different pattern than men. Uh, we typically lose it in the front uh, and a little bit on the sides, and I found that that was my pattern. And if you can see, I have a lot of hair in the front and also coming in on the sides quite nicely. And I attribute that to the stem cell therapy, doing that like every few years, and then the PRP a couple times a year. That really made the difference. Um, I've had a thyroid issue, and this really has helped keep me ahead of that because with thyroid, you'll learn that you will lose your hair, and this really has helped me keep ahead of it. And now, if I stay on top of this, I should have my hair until I'm 100. We started off with using oral medication uh, called finasteride or spironolactone. Uh, and that helped, but it wasn't effective enough. So I thought, well, I have to up this, and I started using um, topical medications. And that still wasn't enough for me. And for men, it's an option to lose their hair. For women, it's not an option. We can't, uh, the bald look is just not for us. So I researched more and I began doing PRP. Uh, I found that to be a big change when I started doing that. My hair started to really come back. And um, if I wasn't doing PRP every, you know, a couple times a year, I'd probably be bald right now. Then even that I found was even more effective when I did stem cell uh, injections intermittently, like maybe once every couple of years. So that combination was like a revolution for me. So thanks to that, 58 years old and I still have hair and I'm grateful for that, thanks to Dr. Benham. You know, years ago, people were barely even doing this. Um, I'm, I started my journey 13 years ago and I uh, did this with a, a plastic surgeon. I did some A cells uh, interjected with the PRP and while yeah, I'm not sure how effective that really was, but it was also, I could have bought a car with the amount of money I spent on that. So you're not getting as much bang for your buck. Uh, when I jumped into stem cells with PRP injections and doing the PRP a couple times a year and the stem cells like maybe once every other year, that I found was a good combination for me and that, that's something that was achievable for me. It made a big difference. It's very emotional and most women don't really want to talk about hair loss. Um, men make jokes about it, men can often shave their head and it can still look sexy. But how many actors do we know that are female that are bald? Uh, I think I can think of two that look good, uh, but in any case, that wasn't an option for me. And I found like there's no woman to talk to about this, so I did a lot of research on my own. And I had to interview a lot of plastic surgeons and dermatologists about this. A lot of doctors hadn't even started to do this until recently, but I found a couple that were doing stem cells and I thought I'd give that a shot and it worked. Uh, then I found that PRP, doing that intermittently with the stem cells was really achievable. Uh, it's very scary when you're brushing through hair in the morning and you're seeing all the hair in the sink, it's really upsetting and I know other women understand my, my pain. And I really recommend this treatment for you. I, I can't say enough about it. Um, it's embarrassing. Uh, it's something I would, didn't want to talk about with my husband. I didn't want to talk about with my kids. They thought I was overreacting. But the key too is that I learned it's important to get on top of it as soon as you notice your hair loss. People will say, oh, your hair looks fine, but if you start seeing a bunch of that hair in that sink, if you don't jump on it and get ahead of it, then it's too late. Once you've lost too much hair, it's really hard to, to make it all grow back. So I'm grateful that I jumped on it early on enough where I'm still having plenty of hair 13 years later. It's really, the pain is really quite, it's very small. Um, and women, let's face it, I think we have a high tolerance for pain and for anything. If it's going to make you look better, you're willing to do it. Uh, but I don't think it was really that painful. It was quite doable. I would say 
maybe around the third, second or third month, I started to see some hair coming in. And it was, not only was more hair coming in, but I could tell in the sink when I was brushing my hair, I just didn't see all that hair coming out anymore. And that to me was like a huge difference. I, to me, they seemed like they lasted about three to five years, I would say. Well, it's interesting is that you hear PRP and you think, well, all doctors do it the same way. Um, I've actually gone to four different doctors and had it, it, my procedure done four different times. And the difference with Dr. Benham is he's so thorough and he keeps up on his research that he's doing the latest cutting edge. So I'm not always understanding exactly what the difference is, but I know he's using, I think, a lot more uh, product and you're getting a lot more for your money. And that's the key, because if you're only doing a few shots here and there, it's really not gonna be helpful, and it's, not, it's a waste of time. Yes, uh, again, I have to emphasize, I started this uh, 13 years ago, this journey, and um, stem cells is a little bit more expensive, so if most people can't afford to do you know, every year, I mean, I guess if you have plenty of money, you're gonna go ahead and do it every year, but that's, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, I felt like doing it intermittently and doing the stem cells like once every maybe one to three years and then doing the PRP a couple times a year was a really good way to like do a maintenance program. Uh, for me that's worked very well. I highly recommend not doing the block. In my mind the block is more uncomfortable. <laughs> the thing that numbs you in my mind is more uncomfortable. I think it's just easier just to go ahead and, and let him do it. It's, it's very quick. It only lasts for a few minutes so you're in and out pretty quickly and you can go about your day and, and you're fine. So there's a little bit of, of blood that comes with it. Of course he's poking your head but you just wipe that off and then your hair looks fine after that. With a previous uh, dermatologist, um, I would do the numbing, and I almost, I almost socked the guy, the, the poor guy that did it, because I was so angry. I felt like that was more uncomfortable than just a straight PRP. So it, it's unnecessary. It takes longer. Um, there's some swelling that comes with it that I didn't like. It, it for me, it made me feel like I had the forehead like Frankenstein, and that wasn't an option for me. So I, I, the PRP really is quite comfortable, in, in my opinion. I think it's doable. Um, am I allowed to say that, okay, I'm 58 and I'm dating guys um, 30 to 35. So yeah, my um, kids aren't too crazy about that, but yeah, I, I like on dating apps, I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm bragging, but on dating apps, I'm getting plenty of likes and it's really easy, like it's not a problem. It, it, so I, 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 it's given me a lot of confidence. I got divorced at age 50 and I thought I would never be dating again. But when I started doing the P, you know, more and more of the PRP and the stem cells, it gave me a lot of confidence. And I learned what a dating app was and I was going on dating apps and I was finding that men half my age were swiping right on me and, and wanting to date me. And, um, I feel very confident and very good about myself since I started this process. So this was my hair before. Um, I think men have different patterns, I understand, for how they tend to lose their hair than women. I think women, we tend to lose it in the front and um, on the sides, and that was for me. So I tend to lose it mostly in the front. I found a lot of hairs in my front were coming back and just getting, not only coming back, but coming out thicker. And so the quality of my hair follicle was, was getting stronger. Uh, a lot, thyroid is a problem for a lot of women. I didn't realize how popular or, or common it is, but I found out I had a thyroid issue and that was causing uh, more hair loss. But with the treatment of PRP and with stem cell therapy, it caused my hair to come back. So there, you know, don't give up, have hope, there, there's hope.